टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक एसेंट्रिसिटी एंड एसेंट्रिसिटी रेशियो द अनादर नेम ऑफ एसेंट्रिसिटी रेशियो इज एटीट्यूड टू अंडरस्टैंड एसेंट्रिसिटी आई ड्रॉ अ फिगर फॉर अ बियरिंग आउटर फेरी फेरी इज शोइंग बियरिंग एंड अ साफ्ट इनर फेरी फेरी इज शोइंग अ साफ्ट एंड पी ए टी एम विच इज अ प्रेशर ऑफ द लुब्रिकेंट वी फिल इनिशियली द लुब्रिकेंट एट एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशन एंड आई राइट द बेरियस टर्म ई ई इज एसेंट्रिसिटी ओ इज अ सेंटर ऑफ वेयरिंग ओ वन इज अ सेंटर ऑफ साफ्ट आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ अ साफ्ट एंड एच इज मिनिमम फिल्म थिकनेस एज द मोशन ऑफ द साफ्ट takes place or as the shaft speed increases the pressure of the lubricant is also increases and this lubricant is converted into sticky film when this lubricant goes from wider range to narrow range due to convergent action and when speed of the shaft increases this lubricant is converted into sticky film due to this the pressure of the lubricant increases and the lift of the shaft takes place initially when shaft is in rest condition then metal to metal contact takes place between the shaft and the bearing as the speed of the shaft increases then minimum th film thickness takes place due to this metal to metal contact avoided here e is showing eccentricity eccentricity depend upon various term let me take a term speed as the speed of the shaft increases then pressure of the lubricant will also increase due to this the minimum film thickness will also increase and eccentricity of the shaft will decrease if take another term that is viscosity if the viscosity of the lubricant is more we can write viscosity if the viscosity of the lubricant is more then minimum thickness will also more due to this reason eccentricity will less we also take viscosity temperature speed and viscosity temperature speed load as the load on the shaft increases then minimum th film thickness will decrease then eccentricity will increase as the temperature of the lubricant increases then minimum film thickness will decrease then eccentricity will increase so on various term eccentricity depends we calculate a formula for the calculation purpose of eccentricity from o to outer ferry ferry this will radius of a bearing which is i am showing by r1 r1 will equal to e which is eccentricity r is a radius of a shaft and h is minimum film thickness we want to write this term in a term of radial clearance radial clearance is a difference between the radius of a bearing and the radius of a shaft so i write if we take this term r h on our left side then e will equal to r1 minus r which is radial clearance minus h h is minimum film thickness so we can write this r1 minus r in term of radial clearance and i am showing this radial clearance by the c1 so c1 is radial clearance if we want to write this radial clearance in term of diameter clearance then we can write this c1 as a c c is diameter clearance diameter clearance so we can write e is equal to we can write this radial clearance in term of diameter clearance 
which is equal to C by 2 minus H. So this is a formula for the eccentricity. If we discuss another term that is eccentricity ratio or attitude. It is defined as the ratio of eccentricity to the radial clearance and eccentricity is equal to C by 2 C where C is showing diameter clearance H is showing minimum film thickness so C by 2 minus H by C by 2 minus C by 2 where C by 2 is our diameter clearance C is diameter clearance if we write in term of C by 2 then this will equal to radial clearance so we can write C1 minus H by C1 if we take separate separate term then C by 2 C by 2 will cancel and the remaining term will come under H then H we can write C by 2 by C by 2 minus H by C by 2 so this C by 2 C by 2 will get cancelled so the remaining term will be 1 minus this 2 go on the denominator and the remaining term on the numerator is C. So this is equal to eccentricity ratio. So in today's lecture we discussed about eccentricity and eccentricity ratio also known as attitude. Eccentricity depends upon the speed of a shaft, load on a shaft, viscosity of lubricant, temperature of a lubricant and we have C1 is showing radial clearance and C is showing diameter clearance. Ascent for the formula of the eccentricity is C by 2 where C is radial clearance minus H. H is showing minimum film thickness. The another term is eccentricity ratio which is defined as the ratio of eccentricity to the radial clearance. And we can also write eccentricity ratio is equal to 1 minus 2H by C. So today we calculate two formula first for eccentricity and second one for the eccentricity ratio. So in today's lecture this is all about eccentricity and eccentricity ratio. Thank you.